I'm watching your lights as you pull away, playing back all our yesterdays, paper airplanes. Hey, hello, you guys. Welcome back to a new video. I'm gonna start this vlog off with a little collective haul, I guess you could say. Now it's like all a bunch of different things from different places: Revolve, Skins, Amazon, Abercrombie, a little bit of everything. First, we'll do Amazon. I've been into this brand called Molly Suds for laundry stuff so i got the activewear laundry powder i feel like this is really good for gym clothes and stuff like when nate plays basketball i feel like sometimes our other laundry pods like destroy his clothes or like stretch them out a little bit um and this is really good i feel like it's very delicate on the clothes and it's good at like removing odors and tough scents and stains and stuff like that and then i've never used the pods before but i just got some of the i think these are peppermint scented laundry pods i like molly pods because it's no harsh chemicals it's pretty clean and i think it's made in the u.s actually so i've been trying to be better about that especially when it comes to chemicals and stuff so i thought we would try these pods out because right now i just use one from costco and i feel like they probably have a lot of chemicals in that i don't pay attention to the other thing i got is oh i should have opened this it says it's a makeup pen. I'm pretty sure this is like a dupe of Charlotte Tilbury contour wands. Um, this one's the blush. I also ordered the bronzer and it was supposedly delivered, but the package was never at my door. And the picture that like Amazon sends you, it was at my front door. So I have no idea where that package is. I need to like call Amazon and like figure all of that out. But this is what it looks like. It looks a lot like the Charlotte Tilbury wand and it's basically, what the heck? Okay, it's basically a dupe, except it's supposed to have that little puffy top, and it doesn't. But it looks like, like something's like stuck up there. Okay, I was really excited about this too. Um, my next non-clothing piece is a huge splurge. <laughs> I got the Shark Airwrap. I'm not going to take it all out, but this is the Shark Airwrap. This little piece like flips flips around so this is the bow dryer and then you add the attachments here which is like how you curl the hair i will say the shark one's like half the price as the dyson air wrap so i'm glad i went with this over the dyson i just need to like figure out how to properly use it but i've seen so many people buy it return it and then rebuy it because they finally learned how to use it so i don't want to do that i want to like give it a fair shot and really try to learn how to use it before like i give up on it Next we'll do skims because I'm probably not gonna try any of the skims items on. I first got a bathing suit from skims and I don't love it. I tried it on the other day and I'm like, I don't know if I should return it or if I'm just gonna like try to sell it on Poshmark or something. I don't know, it just didn't look flattering on me and I don't see myself wearing it honestly this summer. So this is the top, it's a triangle top, but I will say it's small and it's snow padding, which I like a padded bathing suit personally. But the bottoms are really what I found pretty unflattering they were the mid-rise ones so they came up kind of like right around my belly button but the cut is like a high leg high rise and then i feel like it kind of is a little cheeky on the butt so it's just i don't know for me it wasn't the most flattering fit i didn't hate it but for reference i got the bottoms in a size small and then i also did a small on the top so maybe i should have done a medium because i can tie it tighter and it just would have been more coverage but it's in the color cocoa and then i also got this bra which is like my first real bra from skims i have like a lot of their bandos that don't have any padding or anything but this one has padding it doesn't say which style this is this is in the color clay i'm excited because it doesn't have any wires or anything so i feel like with t-shirts or tops or anything like i won't have anything sticking out or poking through the shirt because sometimes that happens with wires just make a mess so and then lastly from skims i got the boyfriend t collection the long sleeve in this light gray i have the boxer brief shorts and i have the short sleeve in this color um, so I just kind of wanted to get like the full set because I personally love a long sleeve, especially lounging around the house. I got it in a size small. And then I just have two other things that I want to show you while I'm still sitting before I get up to try it all on. So this is the bathing suit I got from Abercrombie. It's just a one piece black women's suit. I got it in a size small. The reviews were all like incredible for this and I feel like I'm just being more realistic with myself when it comes to like what kind of bathing suits I like. So... 
I got this one to try. I didn't try it on yet, so I can't really speak to it. And then this I got from Revolve. It's a Dibs Desert Island Beauty Status Stick. So it kind of just makes your skin more glowy. And what is it, say? Like a skin boosting blend. I thought this would be good because Nate and I are getting our engagement photos done in a few weeks. And I just want to put that like on my legs and kind of like make them pop or like my collarbone and stuff and look extra bronzed and glowy so i guess there's gonna be one dress that i won't try on this dress it's by the brand shauna joy from revolve i am obsessed with this line like she's probably my new favorite designer that i discovered from revolve it, the quality is just really good it's this long sleeve it's buttoned down and it's kind of like a deep v-neck and then it has a high slit and it's mostly long sleeve and i'm like obsessed with it i think it's so beautiful but i did buy it for our engagement photos and nate and i both agreed that it might be like a little bit much for the engagement photos just because the cut is really deep and the slit's pretty high so we both kind of feel like just maybe a little bit too much for the engagement photos but i'm trying to decide if like i want to keep it for like a bridal shower party or anything it's the most beautiful dress first up are these jeans they're from a goldie this is the lana straight leg in the color drum they're super high waisted they're a straight leg there's a little bit extra length at the bottom but with shoes I think it would be fine so and then these are from Abercrombie they are the relaxed 90s high waist jean or something like that and these are in stark white all the reviews said to size down so I got these in a 24 extra short usually I'm a 25 short I'm definitely glad I sized down with the extra short instead of doing short because they would be way too long I think but I probably could have done a 25 if I'm being honest I'll make it work I've been on the hunt for like the perfect white jean for spring and summer and i feel like these are really cute and this top is from pe nation off of revolve it's navy blue and so comfy i think it's like actually a workout shirt but you could wear it just like this and like dress it up or you could wear it to the gym obviously um it's long like this but then this is like split in two there's a really thick band here and you could pull it up for a cropped look especially when working out or something. I just think it's so cute. Next is this dress from Lovers and Friends off of Revolve. It is slightly see-through. I got this in a size small and these straps are huge on me, so this will be getting returned, but I thought it was a cute little baby doll dress and it was on sale. It's just a wee bit big for me, so it's going to get returned. This is the other dress I got. I think it's by the brand Elliot off of Revolve as well. This is a little sneak peek because i think this is going to be one of our engagement shoot dresses but it has these pretty blue and pink florals on it it almost looks like foily and it's a puff dress it's supposed to lace in the back but i couldn't tie it so it's kind of going to pull the top a little bit tighter when it's tied correctly i got this in a size extra small so i would say that it runs probably big because i would say usually i'm probably a small or sometimes a medium so Okay, and this is the last dress I got, also by Shauna Joy. It's this little pretty silk dress. I could probably use some Spanx or some lining or something, but it just has this little cow neck detail, small tie, and I just think it's really pretty. This is probably going to be my second dress for the engagement photos. So. Again, I will have everything linked below, and yeah, let's get into the rest of the video. Okay, I just went to go file a complaint on Amazon and like try to return this because I thought that the cap was getting stuck in or the applicator was getting stuck in the cap. But what really I read in the comments that you just need to pull and not twist. There it is. Yeah, it's like a little Charlotte Tilbury dupe. Blush. <laughs> nice. Just got out of the nail salon, put my mask away. It's like the only place that I know that still makes you wear a mask. But anyway, just got my nails done. This is the color what I cannoli wear, I think. But it's kind of like a grayish stone. Kind of has like some blue tints. I don't know. I liked it. Next week is St. Patty's Day. So I was trying to go for something like a little bit more green, but the green was just like a little too bold for me i was nervous that i wouldn't like it for the weeks to come and this has a little bit more color to it than in the pink the nude the bubble bath whatever color i usually do so i think i'm gonna try to keep up with my nails then since 
I don't have my engagement ring right now because it's getting sized, but since I have the ring, I feel like I just need to keep up with the nails. And we'll see how long it lasts because it's an expensive hobby, but it just looks so much better and I just feel better. Now I'm headed to return some things from Revolve, like those dresses I was showing you guys earlier. Nate's calling. Hello. Okay, anyway, I was supposed to go to Whole Foods and return those dresses. Um, but now I'm gonna pick up Nate and then we're gonna go to Whole Foods because we need to get stuff for dinner because we don't have anything. It's Friday, it's Lent, can't eat meat. So I think we might just grab sushi from there or he might get salmon, I'm gonna get sushi. I don't know, I'm not in the mood for salmon tonight. Whole Foods haul. We got dinners, shrimp crunch roll, cucumber and avocado roll is my favorite, salmon roll and sweet chili shrimp for Nate. And then we got half a sourdough loaf of bread, balsamic glaze, this Stonyfield organic Greek yogurt, and then two poppies, right? Yeah, poppy. I get those in Olipop confused. But we never tried these flavors, Doc Pop and Root Beer. It's like 7 a.m. I'm heading out to go pick up our newest foster dog. Oh, hello. There's just like a neighbor that was right next to my car and that was awkward. Um, our last dog, Hamilton, got adopted in like a day and a half. So now we're getting a new one. Um, his name is Pharaoh. I don't really know a whole lot about him other than that he's a puppy still. So we'll see when we get there. We have no plans. We're just gonna hang out with the pup all day. I wanna clean, get the house organized, stuff like that. Hi. Hey. Okay, we just got home. This is Mr. Pharaoh. He did okay in the car. He cried pretty much the whole time. And then he pooped on the seat. So once I pulled over, we went to a little park and I scooped the poop with like the dog poop bags and walked him around there and stuff and then after that he was sleeping like this in the car but he's not been too bad so my car needs a vacuum so bad oh my god there's so much dog hair but yeah now i need to like clean up my car i guess today that's gonna be the new thing on the agenda one because the dog hair two because he pooped on the seat he has like the cutest little like puppy skin like the last dog we had was a puppy but since it was like a shorter small dog it was like a maltese it like, didn't feel like puppy hair or puppy skin and this one like actually feels like you can tell like the squish like he's gonna be like a big dog and like grow bigger he has like so much extra skin and fluff and stuff he's so cute i'm excited for nate to see him i think nate's still sleeping but oh my god getting ready to go to the gym after a long time at procrastinating going and we had a hello fresh box at the door so now i can't go because we have to put it away what are our meals south southwest beef capitale vegan thai ginger curry yum yum wait there's another one right oh no they didn't oh, give us the recipe no. Pork taquitos. Maybe on the app there's a recipe. Oh, no. Come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> you have to be here. Puppy bag. This is where you body. Gosh, you're so cute, Pharaoh. You're so handsome. Ooh. Ooh, what is my hair? Focus. We like to party. <laughs> yes, focus. Okay, it's been a little bit. I went to the gym, came home, but Nate and I decided to get um, Mediterranean for lunch, dinner, 
early dinner. It's like three o'clock right now. And we're heading to go pick it up. Just been hanging out and playing with the puppy. So yeah. Got the good. Let's go. It's a lot of food. Yeah. That's you. What is this? A, a lamb hero? I think so. Pita. Hey, Papa, what's wrong? Look at that. Whoa. The ones I know, it's like, that might be hummus, baba ganoush, tzatziki, and whatever the hell that is. And falafel, and what you, the yeah. grape leaf stuff. Oh, looks good. And then when you get to eat, whoa. Okay, it's a little while later. We finished wrapping up eating and cleaning up and everything, and then I just kind of picked up around the house. I vacuumed, did a bunch of laundry, currently washing the sheets and everything. I feel like I'm like so tired for no reason, I guess. I don't know, I didn't sleep well last night. I'm debating if I want to make a nice coffee right now, but it's 5 o'clock and I know that's not going to end well for me. So I shouldn't, but it just sounds really good right now. Anyway, I just got this package from Amazon. I ordered these to go above the couch. If you guys know, then you know I've been on the hunt to find these. And then there's one more coming, which is also another like floral picture, kind of like that one. They are small, they're all eight by 10. So they might be a little bit small, but they're basically gonna go right here. So two on this side and then two over here, just to kind of fill out this wall a little bit. And I liked the colors of those and the prints. My only concern is they might be too small, which I don't know what my problem is. Like I should know dimensions by now, but I really don't because this is like, my fifth time trying to find something for my walls and each time i'm like no i don't like the size of that but even if it doesn't look cute i've seen people put like cute pictures like this behind like on here like on the tile and i just think it looks really cute like behind your sink so maybe we can figure out something like that worst comes to worst because the nice thing about these was that they were purchased individually like usually i feel like when i find stuff like this it comes as a whole set and then you can't just like return like one picture or anything that you don't like because you have to return all of them. So that's why I kind of like that these were individually purchased and they all kind of flow together. If it turns out that like I don't like, I don't know, one of them or two of them, then I can return them. And I think they actually have them in 11 by 16 so I could always return like two and bump those up a size or two. Kind of like mix match a little bit more. We'll have to see. Okay, we're gonna make a little iced coffee. I'm gonna do this mini espresso thing with the Alfred's espresso, but I have to grind up some of the beans quick. And I'm making Nate like a regular coffee right now. I haven't used this espresso thing in a while, so I thought we could do that. And we'll use the Alfred's espresso beans. Recorded this. Now what? <laughs> Watching tonight? Yeah, how are you hungry? We literally just ate. I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna try to mix my lotion with this Isle of Paradise self tanning drops and I'm hoping that it doesn't turn out too terribly. This isn't what I usually use but I'm out of my other tanning stuff so we're gonna give this a go. to do the, like, the little blowout thing, but I have no idea how to work the air wrap at all yet, so I feel like it did nothing. It looks good. Thanks, Beyonce. Nate. <laughs> we are going to meet Nate's brother now for hibachi, but I'm like not hungry at all, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll just... 
Gotta get some good footage. Maybe I'll just get a drink. Drink. You gotta get some good footage of uh, the, the bocce man. Okay, hello you guys, it is the next day. Um, last night was the spring forward time change or whatever for daylight savings and it like literally messed me up so badly. Why are you crying so much? So I was just having a slow lazy morning. We were snuggling on the couch for a good bit of the morning. I made another Alfred's latte at home, read some of my book, and yeah, that's been what's going on. After I was reading, I like looked at my phone to see the time and it said one o'clock I was like oh my god I have so much to do today and I'm just laying on the couch snuggling with this puppy so I got up I went and got some groceries we were out of like some basic things like bread milk eggs boring stuff and then I got us a few snacks and drinks just to have and then I had a 20% off thing at Sephora so I stopped in at Sephora and got just a few things I didn't get anything crazy good because I'm really 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 trying to be better about spending my money especially on like products and makeup and stuff because I don't even know how to do my makeup so I feel like I buy them and they end up just like sitting in a drawer or like back stocked somewhere all over my apartment and I don't use them that much so I'm trying to get like a lot better about that and I've also been like simplifying like my skincare routines for the mornings and nights so like I don't need like a ton of products at once like if I want to try it when I run out of something and replace something fine whatever but I'm like done doing a ton of products at once because it's just like wasteful at this point what are you crying for what's the matter i restocked on the inky list oat cleansing balm this is what i use to get my makeup off every single night it's like the best makeup cleanser in my opinion and it's really cheap it's like 12 dollars and the bottle lasts me a long time buddy okay i guess i'm just gonna have to hold him this whole clip the bottle lasts me like a pretty long time but i'm almost out of the one i have right now so I thought I should restock because I had a 20% off gift card or coupon thing that was going to go bad today. So I was like, I might as well just go to Sephora and only get like the thing I need. So I got that and then of course I got something else. I was just like, you know, I have a 20% off thing so let me try it now. But I was like limiting myself to only these two things. Then the other thing I got was the Hourglass volumizing glossy balm i saw so many people use this in the color trace and it looks so pretty on it literally looks like a 90s it reminds me of rachel green from friends it gives like a really pretty like dark brown light red color to your lip but they were all sold out of trace so i got the color haze which looks pretty similar so we can do a try on of that in a little bit but i need to put the groceries away mm -hmm. i need to figure out what's wrong with this puppy and <laughs> get him settled he's been so whiny since we got him it's like if we're not cuddling with him on the couch or on the bed or something like he just cries i think he just like likes attention which i feel bad because he was from a litter of eight pups and so when i picked him up yesterday obviously he was split from his siblings so I'm like maybe he's just a little lonely but he is a little high maintenance of a puppy all that crying was literally because he wanted to snuggle <laughs> he's just such a little cuddly boy Okay, I'm gonna do a really rough attempt at trying to put these on the wall. Okay, the second one just arrived and I hung it up, which is this one over there. I mean, it's definitely not centered and not even, so I'm gonna have to have Nate look at it. I don't know, I feel like when I put them too close together it looks bad, and too spread apart also looks bad. Okay, so this is what we have now. I texted one of my friends because she's really good at interior designing and stuff like that, and she said for wall, pictures and wall art like they should be about three inches apart or less so this is how i move them and then she sent me a link to these beautiful candle sconces for your wall and she said to put one like right here and then another one over here i'll show you guys a picture of them so these are the sconces i think i'm going to get they also have it in gold but i feel like the gold might be a little harsh so this one's the black and i love it it's on back order right now but i think i'm about to order two so i'm gonna put one right here and i feel like it's renter friendly because of that hook that it has so i can like just hang it on command hooks or something simple like that and put one right here and one right here i'm not sure if i'm still obsessed with the pictures or not like the side pictures i could put like the sconces just next to the big picture and get rid of the little ones or whatever but i think like the color scheme all really flows well together so I like that part of it 
And so now I'm just feeling fully motivated to like redecorate everything. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this little stand or like move it for now and do the typical like wood baseboard thing like I have in the bathroom just for like my soaps and stuff. And then I think I'm gonna get a small little frame to go right here and then get a wall shelf and move this plant onto the wall shelf and make this like a cute little nook with cookbook or something like that and make it like a whole little cubby. But that's gonna be in like a future lifetime of mine not like right now what can i do for you okay trying this out the color haze it is a little bit more red than i would have hoped I wish they would have had that trace, but not terrible, but not as dark as I wanted. Okay, we're getting ready to go out to eat with Nate's parents. My sweater and jeans are from H&M, and then black boots. Oh, uh-oh. It's a gift from my grandma, some jeans. What are they? I don't know. Tommy Hilfiger. What? No, they're okay, Levi's. Okay, I don't know. They're Levi's, I think, and Sperry's. Anyway, now we're going out to eat. We're bringing the puppy with us. Oh my god. <laughs> Nate's clearly really hungry. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the end of the vlog. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Let's go! <laughs>